China has just made a monumental leap in space technology with the Long March 2C launching four advanced PSAT-2 satellites into orbit, propelling itself to the forefront of global remote sensing. Equipped with cutting-edge synthetic aperture radar SAR, these satellites offer high-resolution, all-weather, day and night imaging capabilities that will revolutionize Earth observation. This launch not only enhances China's ability to monitor environmental changes, manage disasters, and plan urban development, but also has far-reaching implications for global communication and scientific research. In this video, we'll explore how the Long March 2C launch of PSAT-2 is set to transform our understanding of the planet and why it's capturing international attention. The recent launch of the PSAT-2 satellites marks a significant milestone in China's ambitious space program. On November 9, 2024, precisely at 11.39 a.m. Beijing time, a Long March 2C carrier rocket roared to life from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, situated in the heart of the Gobi Desert. This wasn't just another routine mission, it was the 544th flight of the Long March rocket series and represented China's 53rd orbital launch of the year. The sky was clear blue as the rocket ascended, shedding insulation tiles a spectacle that underscored the sheer power and complexity of space travel. So why is this launch so pivotal? First, it demonstrates China's unwavering commitment to expanding its presence in space despite falling short of its ambitious goal of around 100 launches for the year. The Long March 2C rocket is a workhorse, and its flawless performance underscores the reliability and sophistication of China's launch capabilities. Successfully deploying four advanced satellites in a single mission is no small feat and highlights the country's growing expertise in orbital insertions and satellite deployments. Moreover, the choice of the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center is significant. This historic site has been the cradle of many of China's space endeavors, from manned missions to lunar explorations. Launching the PSAT-2 satellites from Jiuquan adds a layer of tradition and national pride to this technological achievement. It signals to the world that China is not only maintaining but accelerating its pace in the global space race. This mission also reflects China's strategic approach to space exploration. By focusing on remote sensing satellites like PSAT-2, China is investing in technologies that have immediate and practical applications on Earth. The launch aligns with broader national objectives, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, by aiming for global coverage that can benefit multiple countries. It's a clear indication that China is positioning itself as a leader in space-based services that have real-world impacts. What sets the PSAT-2 satellites apart is the advanced technology they carry, promising to redefine the capabilities of remote sensing. Developed by Shanghai Aerospace Technology Company, Limited, under the state-owned Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, these satellites are at the forefront of synthetic aperture radar SAR technology. SAR is a form of radar used to create two-dimensional images or three-dimensional reconstructions of objects, such as landscapes. Unlike optical imaging satellites that depend on daylight and clear weather, SAR satellites can capture high-resolution images regardless of weather conditions or time of day. The PSAT-2 satellites utilize X-band radar frequencies, which offer a balance between resolution and penetration capabilities. This allows them to produce incredibly detailed images of the Earth's surface, making them invaluable for applications like environmental monitoring, infrastructure analysis, and disaster management. For instance, they can detect subtle ground movements preceding earthquakes or monitor deforestation activities in real time. Building upon the success of the PSAT-1 satellites launched in March 2023, which formed a unique wheel-like formation in orbit, PSAT-2 incorporates multi-baseline interferometric SAR, INSAR technology. INSAR enables the detection of minute changes in land elevation down to a few millimeters. This technology was first successfully applied by China in orbit with PSAT-1, and PSAT-2 aims to enhance these capabilities further. Moreover, these satellites are part of an ambitious plan to establish a 16-satellite constellation by March 2025. The constellation aims for comprehensive global coverage, focusing on domestic regions and countries involved in China's Belt and Road Initiative. By deploying this network, 
China seeks to offer high-frequency, high-resolution data services that can compete on a global scale. Another remarkable aspect is the collaboration between Zhuzhou Su Space Interstellar Satellite Technology Company, Limited, the satellite owner, and SAST, the developer. This partnership between a commercial entity and a state-owned enterprise exemplifies China's strategic approach to accelerating innovation in space technology. It allows for resource pooling and expertise sharing, leading to technological breakthroughs that might not be possible independently. In essence, the PSAT-2 satellites represent a significant technological advancement in remote sensing. They not only enhance China's capabilities, but also have the potential to revolutionize how we observe and interact with our planet. The successful deployment of the PSAT-2 satellites has far-reaching implications that extend well beyond China's borders. At the forefront is the enhancement of commercial remote sensing services. With their advanced SAR capabilities, these satellites can provide invaluable data for a multitude of sectors. Environmental agencies can monitor climate change effects more precisely, urban planners can manage city growth efficiently, and disaster response teams can receive real-time data during emergencies, potentially saving countless lives. Strategically, this launch positions China as a formidable player in the global remote sensing market. By offering high-resolution, all-weather imaging services, China can cater to countries and organizations that require reliable Earth observation data, but may have limited access to it. This is particularly significant for nations involved in the Belt and Road Initiative, where infrastructure development and environmental monitoring are critical. By supplying these services, China not only fosters stronger bilateral relationships, but also expands its geopolitical influence. The collaboration between state-owned and commercial entities in this project reflects a broader trend in China's approach to technological development. By merging the agility of private companies with the resources of state enterprises, China accelerates innovation and brings advanced technologies to market more rapidly. This model could disrupt traditional methods of space technology development, prompting other nations to reconsider their strategies. Furthermore, the PSAT-2 satellites could have a profound impact on global scientific research. The high-quality data they generate can contribute to a better understanding of Earth's systems, aiding in climate research and environmental conservation efforts. There's potential for international cooperation, where data sharing could benefit global initiatives aimed at sustainability and disaster preparedness. However, this development also raises questions about data security and access. As China expands its capabilities in Earth observation, concerns may arise regarding how this data is used and who has access to it. It's a topic that will likely prompt discussions on international regulations and agreements related to remote sensing and data sharing. In this video, we have learned about China's groundbreaking launch of the PSAT-2 satellites and how it represents a significant advancement in space technology and remote sensing. We explored the details of the launch, the cutting-edge SAR and INSAR technologies on board, and the global impact these satellites are poised to have. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.